Make one great movie? Not bad. Make two great movies? Impressive. Three great movies? I bow before you, Mr. Affleck. Argo is the true story that takes place during the Iranian hostage crisis that was in the late 70s to early 80s. This movie is directed by Ben Affleck and stars him as well. It's about this one guy, completely true story, that was actually declassified in the 90s by Bill Clinton. They're trying to come up with an idea to get these six hostages out of Iran. And Ben Affleck goes, hey, what if we pretend like we're making a fake movie, like this science fiction fantasy film called Argo. We go there and we pretend like these six people are part of our film crew and we fly them out of there as if we were just scouting the locations. And it's one of those so crazy that it just might work schemes that they decide to go for it and it's a really intense dramatic thriller, very realistic and, in my opinion, one of the best films of the year. Ben Affleck, you are amazing, my friend. You are one of the best directors we have working today. When he made Gone Baby Gone, I was so impressed with that movie. It was so good. And when he made The Town, it was maybe even better. With Argo, he leaves the comfort zone of Boston. He goes for a very realistic subject, something that actually happened, and he succeeds with flying colors. It has a great sense of realism to the drama. You can tell that they got a lot of their facts straight. There's certain times in the movie where you're like, yeah, I totally heard about that. That's actually what happened. And it just, it feels very authentic. The performances are excellent. This is one of Ben Affleck's better performances because he's very subdued in this movie where an actor would normally take on a role like this of this American hero, you know? You feel like you might want to overdo it sometimes or get a little too forthcoming or enthusiastic with your performance. You know, really, I'm going to nail this scene. I'm going to be, I'm going to be so good in this scene. But he is so toned down in this movie that I really think it's one of his best performances and maybe Oscar worthy because there's nothing in this movie about his performance that screams like wow that would be so difficult to do as an actor but it really actually is very difficult for an actor to hone himself so well to a role and to fight that urge to want to be really big in a scene he's definitely the most subdued of all the actors in this movie and he gives a really nuanced performance. I was really impressed. Also good is Brian Cranston, which is like a cliche for me to say that because he's such a good actor. He's been in like everything this year. He's been in so many movies, but he was really, really good here. I really liked his scenes. This movie was so tense that my heart was beating at times. I could feel my, my palms clenching in, my fists were tightening. It was just, it was a really great thriller. There's a whole other side of this movie though I haven't mentioned yet, and it's this very funny side to it that pokes fun at the Hollywood cliches of how the, the town works and everything and how actors view themselves as big shots. And you can really tell that although Ben Affleck is a famous actor, it seems like he got famous doing stuff like Daredevil and Paycheck and all those movies that were just, you know, very cliched and conventional Hollywood entertainment. And now he's taken that famousness that he has, along with his Oscar he got for screenwriting, and he's making things that matter. He's actually making movies, entertainment, that matter. It's actually kind of impressive. You can see him inserting his views on Hollywood into the film, and I really like that. John Goodman is so good in this movie. Movie. And you know who else is great is Alan Arkin. If you guys have ever seen Wait Until Dark with Audrey Hepburn from 1967, Alan Arkin has been knocking it out of the park for decades, and he is so good in this movie. John Goodman and him have some of the best scenes in the whole movie. It's, it's some of the most entertaining scenes in the film, for sure. The film was intense, it was dramatic, it was well acted, it was heartfelt, it was very touching. I loved Argo. I really think it's one of the better films of the year. Definitely see it. I'm gonna give Argo an A. Good job, Ben Affleck, man. You are continuously impressing me. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and as always, if you like this, then you can click right here and get Stuckmanized.